I just looked out the window and we're getting our first snow. Because last week I did a video with my vegan rant, you guys missed out on a few exciting things. We got our first snow and also caterpillar turned into a moth. Okay, that's him. And he's alive. I don't know when he just came out of his cocoon. This moth is identical to the ones that I had been seeing when I was looking at the spotted cutworm. So this is a definite ID, and now I know what problem I was having down in the garden this year. And then of course I turn around, put them outside so we can fly right back down to my kale and lay eggs or whatever, but it's so late in the season, I am not worrying about any of that. That's him right there. Well, he sure is a pretty fellow. Okay, buddy. Fly away. After getting that little bit of snow, which really didn't stick much, it went back to raining and raining. Hey, so uh, it's Monday afternoon. Tyler and I just went out to get some 2x12s because what I want to do is make a couple of raised beds for the new greenhouse. I'll show you where the new greenhouse is going to go. So that's the pile of soil that I have and a little bit of sand right there. And there's the existing greenhouse. And right next to it is where I want to put the new greenhouse. So I want to get a couple of raised beds out there in order to get them filled with soil, sand, seaweed before it freezes. So this is the thing. Um, it has been a really rainy fall. The rainiest fall I think that we've had since the very first fall when we moved up here. The last couple of years, it's actually been freezing more kind of closer to the beginning of November, but I'm seeing a forecast for actually snow coming um, next week and freezing temperatures. So I don't want this soil pile to get frozen before I can shovel it over <laughs> to the new raised beds. So. I'm going to build raised beds and um, Tyler, we don't have any electricity out here, so Tyler got me this uh, skill saw that's battery powered and I've never used it before until today, so it makes me a little bit nervous. I'm always, I'm always a little bit nervous with power tools, um, but yeah, so I got to cut these 20 footers up into 19 and a half and then I need the little uh, three foot ends I need to get those exactly and I need to drill holes through the sides so that we can put tie rods through them and um, yeah I can't even find a square <laughs> so I've got to run up to the house and get a square and of course it's like around two o'clock in the afternoon and it gets dark at about four o'clock or something. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today, but tomorrow is not supposed to be that rainy either. So I got a couple days where it's not gonna be like, and um, then it's supposed to rain again. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna try, try and get as much done as I can. It's starting to rain again. These are my buckets of water that I've been using to throw some water into the composting bins. That's a, that's a few inches of rain, right? <laughs> Goofball safety losses. My battery's running dead on the camera. See this one cut. I tr tried to square up the end and I probably made it worse than it was. I'm probably going to hit this other board. Oh my god, just watch, watch me. I, don't want, I just don't want this to be too unstable. Fuck. Okay. That was to work. Okay. So I've got my four end boards and I need to cut the long boards now, the side boards. It's raining and raining and I'm fogging up. Why is this not working? <clears throat> my battery's dying. Okay, I switched out the battery for the drill. This is gonna drill right through the board underneath it, but that's all right. The support board. Let's see. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Pull. Hey, 
so yesterday I got the boards cut and I got holes drilled in the center so that I can put the rods through later and now today um, Tyler helped me drag them over here and I'm going to pre-drill the ends and put the raised beds together then um, it's supposed to rain the next number of days so I'll probably be moving the soil in the rain but I gotta get it done before it gets cold and snows so that's the plan for today So I had a really hard time getting out today. It is so damp and cold. And so I got to move this dirt from the pile over here to the raised beds over there. And I probably won't do it for too long because I don't think my spindly little arms are going to be able to handle it. But I'll, uh, I think I'm going to take the wheelbarrow around through here just because the dirt is compact, even though it might not be the most direct uh, way of doing it. Yeah, so I'm gonna do. bit of a roll here getting this filled up but just occurred to me that I need to put those two by fours screwed down across the centers here to hold them together until I get the rods going through and then also it's getting seriously muddy through here as I'm going in and out okay so I couldn't find any more than just a couple of little pieces of two by four so I just put one between span and each and then I ran some bin boards a piece of plywood so hopefully that'll help with the wheelbarrow Dark. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing at this point so I'm going to do a few more wheelbarrow loads of dirt and then I'm gonna go eat and then do some chores. Hey so uh, last night I put a tarp on the raised beds to try and keep a little bit of water out. The tarp's really not big enough so it kind of just collapsed in and stuff but um, I'm gonna take that off and wheelbarrow some more soil over there. I've only got a couple of hours of daylight left so I'll just do that for a little bit and here we go again because I'm trashed. I'm gonna have to hose myself down. Okay, do I have enough light to show you what I got done? Oh, maybe not quite three quarters full. 